Hi everyone. This video explaining about how we start modding. What we know for first, it's not much details, because I don't want to confuse you. Just you know what kind of app you're trying to mod. Let's get started. First know the app type, that usually APK packages available in, APK, X APK, APKS. APK file you can edit directly, but X APK, APKS need to convert in APK format. Next DEX protection. We need to check APK before mod. It contains DEX protection. We need to remove protection first. Basically we found three type of DEX protections. Google Pirate it's possible to remove. Other two still, I don't found any solution. It's hard to remove. If APK with DEX protection hard to mod, app crash automatically after installation. Next signature verification. Every APK contains APK digitally signed by app developer. They also protect app with signature. So every time we should check the app before mod. How to check APK signature verification. Simply install app, then use anti split M app to make simple APK. Don't mod anything. Just install the extracted APK into your device, then open the app. It will crash while you use the app. So first we need to kill signature using MT manager or lucky patch or any other apps. After this three things, we start moding. Not all the apps contains keywords and DEX files. Not only mod DEX make moded APK, we should find the app structure. First check assets folder. If it contains index.android.bundle, this file is executed by the JavaScript engine, Hermes or JSC within the React Native app. We need HBC tool script, run with Termix terminal, used to mod that type app. Second, check lib folder. If you found lib flutter, we need blutter termix script need to mod that type apps. Every app contains only one format from below list. If the app don't have these two, then we go with dex. These tools enough to mod an APK. Let's shortly explain about these apps. Anti split M. Make split APK into simple APK. MT manager. It contains a lot of tools inbuilt. We can do everything within one app. MP manager. Similar to MT manager. Termix. It helps to run terminal and Android device. You can easily run Python, GitHub scripts easily using Termix. Virtual master. You can emulate Android different version in your Android device with root access. Current activity. It helps to monitor app activity. Already I used these apps in my previous videos. I give all the app link in the description. So please don't forget to subscribe our channel. In future videos I will update about Hub tools and Blutter app modding process. Thank you for watching.